at her party MEP Ben Habib told me an hour ago that this deal won't make any difference at all. Do you think he's right? Absolutely. Firmly support Ben Habib, great guy, and he's completely correct. So Rishi Sunak, for me, is officially the worst negotiator in the world, and I'll tell you why. Who on earth gives millions of pounds to a country for a deal that country then fails the deal, so I know what we'll do, we'll give them even more money. There is no returns that have been guaranteed with this deal, but he's already pledged 500 million, obviously half a billion pounds of our money, and he's not even thought about the specific details of it. This detention centre that's apparently going to solve all of the problems, how many people can it hold? Because all I see from Rishi Sunak and from the Conservative Party is a lot of PR soundbites on their redemption tour. They come Constantly keep on saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. We saw Suella do it earlier on this week, saying how they were going to stop illegal immigrants from coming to the country. But we saw Boris doing that a year ago with the Rwanda plan, and that's failed too. They don't look at the detail, but of course they're going to go cozy up to France and give them half a billion pounds. Mm, but... Some would say that it is a start. I mean, look, a warming of relationships has got to be um, a good thing because ultimately there's been a stalemate for, what is it, five years? And in that time, we've seen this problem just escalate. I know we've had COVID and all the things that came in between. But a bad relationship with France is not a good thing. And what Rishi, what was alluded to is that this was a relationship or a partnership between the UK and the EU because this is, this is how it was framed. Surely that has to be better than an alternative of, of not of not having that relationship. And if, if, if there is a better alternative, what would yours be? We don't have that relationship. What we have is giving them half a billion pounds. They're not doing this because they want to help the relationship. They're doing it because they want the money out of us. Um, the alternative is that we take this under our control, invest that money with ourselves, Unless we leave ETH out, we're never actually going to solve the problem. So actually, why don't we start looking at that first? then we need to be holding people in offshore shipping containers that have been adapted to humane conditions and not letting them get to our shore. But relying on France, who consistently fail us all the time and time again, is not going to solve this problem whatsoever. Mm. Well, there was no mention of any safe and legal routes, which would have uh, I would like to have heard more about that. Do you think that more safe and legal routes will actually help solve the problem, or is that just talking and actually it was just a, a smokescreen for the reality that that's not going to work? Uh, I think so. My problem is with the safe and legal routes um, suggestion. Britain is broken. We can't cope. You know, we are the size of our own ship. Our ship is sinking because you can't keep ploughing more and more people into our country. We don't have the services. We don't have the structures. We don't have the education, the health care, the, the housing for them. We can't really look at safe and legal routes right now. We have to have a complete block. We have to have other countries handle the situation because right now we can't handle our own country and we can't handle our own people and we can't support them. So safe and legal routes, lovely idea in the future, but right now that should not be our focus, I'm afraid. But everything you said would uh, allude to the fact that we're incapable of looking after ourselves and therefore we're better off with the EU looking after us. Look, you know, that's what I'm saying. You said that we can't have... But, but, but it just sounds like, you know, we, we don't appear to have the ability to look after our own interests and the way I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like our politicians are are able to do that. But I mean, what, what's your view? You're correct. So we right now, under Conservative leadership, we can't handle the situation. We need an alternative party to step in who actually have a tough stance and be able to properly handle this situation. Rishi Sunak has absolutely no idea on what he's doing. Every 10 minutes he changes his mind. We heard three weeks ago how he wanted to wave through 95% of applications for five countries. Rishi Sunak, the Conservatives, have no idea on what they're doing. But of course I'm going to say that because I'm the deputy leader of UKIP. We mm. do know what we're doing. We have a better plan. We have a proper manifesto and we're not scared to say the tough stuff. Rishi Sunak's more interested in who we can cozy up with. And I'll say no more about that. Well, I mean, he's managed to cozy up to Ursula von der Leyen. I mean, you saw the pussycat eyes. And uh, he's done the same thing with Macron. So, I mean, look, if it works, it works. But we'll see. Rebecca Jane, thank you very much.